Okay, there are plenty of stuff that I wanna talk about. Uh, but I wanna encourage you to start using a lot of more renewable materials or recycled materials. In this case, I'm in a, in a place where uh, they carry a lot of hardwood flooring and materials for that, for that nature. And there's plenty of uh, wood pallets and, and different uh, stuff like cardboard that you can actually use for renewables. I mean, if you are into vermiculture or, or you know, uh, maybe heating up with, with wood and stuff like that, your system. Um, places like this can offer a lot of possibilities. We have, in this case, all this material that is pretty much going to be thrown out, thrown away. And, and if you ask, to your, you know, your your neighbor or your, the, the company that you work for or something that is on the road, you may be able to find stuff that you can constantly use. I mean, if you if you think about the aquaponic systems, you can actually use all these pallets for platforms where you're going to put all your growing beds. So there's it's a lot of advantages of, of uh, just going around and, and trying to protect a little more the environment and, and try to maximize the usage of all the materials that are around available. So uh, again, I encourage you to look at that possibility, try to maintain a, a, a really full cycle of, of energy usage. And with that, I mean to, to uh, incorporate vermiculture, solar systems, different things that can actually close the full cycle of, of production and maximize the, the space of growth in your, in your uh, area. Okay, so thank you and I hope you like this video. I'll be showing you more stuff in a moment. Bye.